Uh, we were just talking actually earlier. Are we still with? Forget the cell phone. I got to show you one. Uh, we were talking because I was, I really was joking that I was waiting for a guy to come back in who was supposedly having a cigarette. And uh, I actually quit smoking eight, it's almost nine years ago. And here's how I did it. It's a very interesting way of quitting smoking. I have a heart attack. I know, I, I know, I know, you're looking at me, you're thinking, you're way too good looking to have a heart attack. But it's true, I did it. And the person, I'm just going to embarrass him, since he reminded of it, who saved my life, is sitting right there, Ed Pursue. Raise your hand, Ed. He really saved my life. <laughs> he was the closest thing to it. It's a funny story, which I won't get into right now, but uh, any golfers in here? Round of applause. Let me just, this, this might not be 100% made to rest you, but you have to understand really quick the story. I'm on the golf course, I'm having a heart attack, I didn't know I was, I just said call 911. Ed drives me in, we were, we were walking, we didn't even have a cart. Ed drives me in, the other two guys continue to play. <laughs> And just for the record, because I have this on videotape, Harry Shepard and Jeremy McCall, you guys are assholes. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, you know what's been going on the last year? Since my last birthday, my last birthday, I was single. This birthday, I have a girlfriend, so that's pretty cool. Good up for you. I always have to specify when I bring this up, I am very confident Julie is going to be my last girlfriend. <laughs> because if this doesn't work out, I'm turning gay. <laughs> so I am not, no more girlfriends, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying you know what's totally cool? Here's what I, I love when I, like yesterday we were at uh, Baroni's. I don't know if anybody knows where this had this whole Thursday. Was anybody there? And it's crazy. It's like, you know, the cougars and the singles, and I'm just so glad I have a steady girlfriend. And uh, somebody making a margarita in a Chinese restaurant, that's got to be a good drink. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I should let everybody here know we were just rated by Dublin Magazine the number one comedy club Yay, in Dublin. And the Chinese dim sum restaurant. <laughs> but here's the thing, I love having a girlfriend because I get her regular now, right? I mean, I get it in the day, get it at night, get it in the car. Right? I mean, like the nagging is just never in. So, <laughs> getting a regular. Getting a regular. I, met, uh, I met my girlfriend in a very unconventional way. Very unconventional. Uh, I met her in person. <laughs> yes. No internet. No, just, just met her in person. But before I actually met Julia, I was doing a lot of internet dating. A lot of internet daters. Any internet daters in here? That's a lie. Statistically speaking, somebody in here has met on the internet. Now, back in your days, it may have been snail mail, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, nothing wrong with the internet. I met a lot of women on the internet. Here's the first time I did it. I put my picture on there. I put my profile. And I'm telling you, you have to watch right, the next day I had 120 emails. I know, it's cool. I didn't know that many mortgage brokers were on Match.com. <laughs> I got a good deal on a refund. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, since now you've been on the internet, right, I'll explain to you how it works. There's a weight category, that's one of the categories. And women will say, slim and slender, Athletic and toned, about average, a few extra pounds, and voluptuous. And I'm cool with all those. I don't have a problem with any of that. One time this woman emailed me and her uh, profile said Rubenesque. <laughs> right? And I'm kind of like, what's the difference between voluptuous and Rubenesque? I didn't know, so I went out with her. Uh, it turns out the difference is about 40 pounds. <laughs> 
And thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking you for that. But uh, you know what else is cool about uh, the women? Because what's really nice about the internet is they put their pictures on there. So you got to see what they looked like ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> really like. And uh, another great thing about the internet is everything happens quickly. Everything you get a lot of dates. You know, you meet people. And I still remember this one time. I was kind of a little depressed. I wanted to meet someone. I sent out fifty emails in one evening, and the next day I got no responses. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. <laughs> but uh, the uh, here's the thing, though. I looked at it positively, right? Because think about it. Before they had such a thing as the internet, it would have taken me five years to get that type of rejection. 